hey you guys welcome back to my channel thanks for sticking around for another video in this video i will be showing you a plethora of different things that i have been using and loving and what i have emptied this will vary from body care to household items just some random stuff that i came up with and i decided well i might as well show you guys so if you're interested or this sounds like something that you would like to see go ahead and continue to watch so the first thing that I have that I emptied is the Aromatherapy Eucalyptus and Spearmint Stress Relief Body Wash and Foam Bath from Bath & Body Works. I love this, you guys. This is not my first time purchasing this. I also have the lotion as well as the body oil for massaging. And I also now, if you see my last video, have the candle. And so I will be using that in conjunction with this. I will definitely be repurchasing this. However, not at full price. I do not purchase this if it is not on sale. Uh, this retails for $14.50. No. No. You won't catch me buying it at retail. But when it goes on sale, I will pick it up and I do recommend. Otherwise, I do have an alternative for it. Oh, it's actually in this box. So I will show you that next. So here is the alternative that I have. I'm not going to say it's a dupe or anything like that. All I'm saying is it's got the same type of vibe going. Um, this is the Native Body Wash Eucalyptus and Mint. Uh, it does give kind of a masculine type of scent. Same as the Bath & Body Works. They can go a little masculine. If that bothers you, then maybe you don't want to try something like this. But for me, it doesn't really bother me. I use these as well as the Dr. Bronner's Eucalyptus Wash. <laughs> and I love them together. I love to get that really strong smelling like menthol eucalyptus type of feel that really opens your pores i even use the spray i don't know if you guys have it i'll insert a picture if i can because i don't have it next to me and i'm not getting up um but there is a spray that you can like spray along the walls in your bathroom to really like really make the it feels like a spa or a sauna in there um because i like really really hot shower yeah i like to use this after your pores are open and it's like it just feels like a really good deep clean highly recommend and i got this from walmart i think you can get this from walmart as well as target so the next thing that i have that i have emptied is the queen v pop the bubbly bubble bath and i don't know if you guys have ever heard of this brand uh this is not new anymore this is a brand that they used to sell exclusively at walmart i'm not sure if it's still just at walmart it may be at target as well now i know you can find it on amazon and i think that's where i got this one um, for a while they had stopped selling it and i think i don't know if the lady got bought out but there was a lady who specifically made products for women um that were supposed to be like healthy for that area um yeah she made a whole line for stuff like that she used to have videos online and on youtube which still may be out there you can check if you want to but yeah this is the bubble bath and if you know um or if you're one of those people who may get sensitive like down there uh with soaps and stuff like when it comes to taking baths because you you're not really supposed to have like the bubble bath type of stuff it can it can bother some people it doesn't do that for everybody so just exclude yourself if it doesn't happen for you but when i was trying to go like more ph balance type of things i went for this i really enjoyed the smell so it has like this mango tea smell it was like yeah it's green tea mango and chamomile extract so it was completely all natural and i just love this smell i'm not even gonna lie to y'all that's the main reason i repurchased it i'm addicted to the smell so I will be repurchasing. I think it runs about eight bucks. You get a nice amount as you can see. So yeah, highly recommend that, especially if you want something that is um, pH balanced for your bubble bath. Really like that. The next thing that I have been loving, and I don't think I brought the candle over here, but this is by Glade. I saw this and wanted to give it a try. I actually bought two sets of it. I'm on my last candle of the two sets so yeah i've been running through them this was just to get me ready for the bath and body work stuff that hadn't went on sale when i first purchased these but this is vanilla caramel twist and i just couldn't resist because of the name i'm like oh um, i think these are like six dollars for the two candles in there and they're about this size actually here it is so this is the candle and this is how much you get i really like that it just looks like a really nice glass like it's not just like it looks like a drinking glass but anyway this is a really nice candle and it does smell how it says vanilla caramel twist it's not crazy strong 
but it's strong enough. It gets the job done. It'd be nice in the bathroom or in your bedroom. I really been enjoying it. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna repurchase because as you can see, or if you saw my previous video, I have bought several candles, so I will not be needing any more of these for a long time, but I really did enjoy this. So if you did not get any candles uh, from the candle sale, or you might have missed it, or you're really liking this type of smell combination, you wanna get your nose on it, I'm sure they probably sell it at Target and Walmart, and I think I got mine from Target. The next thing I've been loving is this. This Febreze, this is an air freshener, aerosol spray. This is Febreze Serene Vanilla Sunrise. I love this scent. I am addicted. If you guys love like, smell good home products like Febreze and uh, wax melts and candles and stuff like that, definitely subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be bringing y'all all the goodies, all the good stuff that I find. I'm a big shopper. I love home good shopping. It won't just be beauty. Sometimes I'll bring you stuff like this, but I just definitely wanted to bring this to you guys. Please don't sell this out. Now, put y'all on game. But yeah, this is wonderful. If you love vanilla, I'm pretty sure you would love this. It's sweet. Let me see if there's any left. Oh, it's a little bit. Uh, it's just a wonderful, airy. It's not too sweet. It's not too much. But it is a beautiful scent. I love it. And it does linger. I think it sticks around for a while. But yeah, I highly recommend this. I have went through so many of these. It's insane. I will continue to buy this. And I hope Febreze continues to make it. Yeah, this needs to be a staple. Sorry, y'all, I just went crazy spraying that. Because <laughs> I just figured out, like, it's empty, but it's still spraying. I'm going to get all the use I can out of my spray. And, yeah, that, that retails for, like, $324, y'all. The next thing I have is this Smart Mouth Clinical Zinc Activated Oral Rinse. Someone on YouTube recommended this, and they said that it changed their whole oral gang like they really felt very confident with this mouthwash and so i tried it out and actually there's another one that has like a green bottom that's the one that i tried first and i actually really really like that one i tried this one just to see if it was a difference to me there is like a slightly difference it's not that it doesn't work this still works but i like the other one better but i highly recommend this brand of their mouthwash it really does give you the confidence like all day i feel like it really does work for a very long time that's all i'm saying if you sick of your scope which i used to use scope and i also have the um total care listerine which i really don't care for and one thing i really like about this it does not burn it does not burn um you don't have that alcohol i don't even think alcohol is in this yeah so this is it's 24 hour bad breath prevention with a morning and evening rinse um and it has like two sides to it yeah so it says gingivitis and bleeding gums protection prescription strength formula dentist recommended zinc promotes oral health and boost immunity it is alcohol free it's safe for people with diabetes i am not a diabetic thank god but i do highly recommend this if you want to try a new mouthwash all right so these i just have to bring these to you guys so as i stated before i love for my home to smell good i love smell goods i love candles i'm an incense and candle type of girl i've been staying away from the incense just because i haven't been to the store to get any plus i have a young child and i don't want him getting in to that stuff so and he will my son will get into anything he can just like he'll get into candles i have to keep them at a very high altitude to keep him away but yes yeah, so i really didn't want to get any more incense but i do love me a good wax melt <laughs> i used to get wax melts from scentsy scentsy s-c-e-n-t-s-y if you guys are familiar you know that's a very popular site that you can buy um wax melts from but they've gotten high lately like everything else and i just feel like the quality was not what i needed it to be i wanted to try something different and i found these from better homes and gardens one day at walmart and i tell you they are inexpensive and amazing i think they are no more than three bucks y'all and you get like maybe eight to ten in these let me show you what it looks like so it comes in this package and and these are what it looks like so it has a b on them you can see so nice thick wax milk smells so good y'all i swear to you 
and the projection is amazing. It will light up the room that you are in. So this is from Better Homes, Homes and Gardens. That's why it has a B on it. That's the logo, that's their trademark. But this scent that I have here is Lemon and Mandarin and it even puts the scent notes on there. They have so many y'all. This one is called um, Lemon and Mandarin and this one says it has brilliant lemon, sweet mandarin, orange herbs, bright green, sweet notes. Yes, yes to all of it. It is amazing if you're looking for some new wax melts. Because you know they have those other ones at Walmart. I don't too much care for them. Some wax melts, if you ever noticed, they whack, they melt weird. I don't I don't know. I don't know what's up with them, but I'm not a big fan. Like some of those smell good in the pack, but they don't melt well or they don't project. These though, y'all, just give it a try. If you give it a try, let me know. Let me know. Come to the comments of this video. Let me know. Like, girl, I tried them. And the next one that I got from them, this one is called Restored or B Restored. This one doesn't have it. This one just has the B. But this one is B Restored. This is in the orange packaging. This one's in the yellow. And the notes for this one is orange blossom, clementine, sweet apricot, citrus bark, cedarwood, soft musk scent notes. Oh, so, so, so good. Mm, this, this one, I ain't gonna lie, is probably my favorite. This is amazing, y'all. Please get your nose on these. Please go try these out. They're inexpensive. Like I said, they're only like $3. So even if you try it and you end up not liking it, I mean, and you, it's Walmart. You can always take it back to the store. These are exclusive to Walmart as far as I know. Y'all, try it out and let me know. Hey, you guys, just wanted to tap in and let you guys know that I actually discovered that they now have a spray to go with these wax melts. So if you're interested in the wax melts, definitely take a um, sniff at this new spray as well. So I have this in here for an empties, not because I love it. This is Dapper Fragrance. So this is a dupe house. Um, you don't hear much about it on YouTube anymore, but I've seen a few people that I watch talk about it and I wanted to give it a try myself. And so Dapper Fragrances, I got their formulation of Killian Princess in a 30 mil some time ago. I also have the roll on as well, which I did not buy either one. You can't return their scents. I have a little bit left, but as you can see, I emptied it. I forced myself to empty it. Cause y'all want princess so bad and i'm gonna get it i'll surely have it by christmas but it's 130 dollars and i'm gonna have to just i'm gonna have to talk to god about it <laughs> but no so uh, to me this was not a dupe for it this you know killing your princess then you know it has that like matcha tea has marshmallow it may have peach in it i'm not sure of all of the notes but i do know that this don't smell like it this is it has parts of it in there but to me they went way over the edge with the matcha tea and it smells old also it has that ginger note this smells mature to me too mature and it doesn't go sweet if you know about killian princess you know it has that ginger and matcha tea but it goes very sweet in the end and it's so beautiful, so warm and fluffy with that marshmallow. I just don't dig this, so I don't recommend it. But I just wanted to put it in here because I saved it for an empties video. So there we go. I'll be doing these monthly because I don't know that I go through things that fast. If I find that I do, then I will do a monthly empties. But we just don't have to wait and see. I'm not sure. Plus, I'm not really big on keeping empties things. Like, it's hard for me to to keep trash i'm sorry it's just, it's just hard for me i like to get rid of it immediately so last but certainly not least what i've been loving this this is the finery not another cherry Uda parfum mist well this is the perfume so but yeah this comes from target if you're not already aware these finery scents are dupes of other high-end fragrances from what I find. This is the only one that I have in my possession. But I will say, I smelled this in the store months ago and I knew it smelled just like it. I knew it smelled just like Tom Ford, Lost Cherry, it's a dupe for it. If I didn't already say that, I'm not sure. But yes, this is a dupe for that. And I can honestly say, well, let me say this. I have not smelled Tom Ford, Lost Cherry, so I can't say it's a dupe for that. However, there is a dupe 
for that that is by dossier that i love and i own this smells like that so if my dossier dupe is accurate which i do not know i can't speak to all i know is that it does smell like this now i will say to me the dossier dupe and this smell just like kaylee's love fest burning cherry i think is what it's called they smell just like it now i've heard people say tom ford and that don't smell the same I don't know. I have not put my nose on the time for it. However, I have had the Kayali Love Fest Burning Cherry in the travel size, and I promise you, they smell just alike. So you do with that what you will. All I'm telling you, if you want something reminiscent, this is not as expensive. This is $30, I believe, or $27.99. Not bad for what it is. The Siage is not too bad. It's not too crazy. Does it last? Maybe. You might get about maybe four hours out of it before reapplying. I'm really not sure. But I really do love this and I think it's a good alternative. Certainly for the Tom Ford, if you're planning on spending, what is that, $300? So yeah, I've been loving this. I'm not done with it, but I just got it like a couple weeks ago. And look at the dent already, y'all. Yeah. But... I do have, like I said, the dossier dupe. And this is the empty. Because, yes, I have been loving it. These two are exactly the same to me. However, this one is more expensive. This is $50. This is like $30 with tax. But I will say, this dossier dupe, amazing enough that even though i've gotten this i will be going and getting another dossier as a matter of fact the only reason i got this is because this was out of stock by the way you can find these at your local walmart i didn't find mine in store i bought it online but i'm just telling you you can find these at walmart they do sell them at your local walmarts now so you can always get those free shipping fast shipping too uh but yeah and then as soon as i bought this this came back in stock why they be playing with us Anyway, um, once I finish this, and I'm savoring this, y'all. Like, it's not that this can't be gone. This could be gone in a second. I'm trying to save it until I'm ready to buy the bottle. But this is absolutely worth it. Highly recommend this. And because of this, I will not be buying the Lost Cherry. Somebody could gift it to me, but I will not be buying it. No. No. Highly recommend this. This is the last thing on my list. Hey, you guys. So this is just one more honorary mention that I wanted to bring up that I um, got from Target that I have been using. I haven't got this but this weekend and I've already used a whole bunch. So I just wanted to let you know. So this is French. I think that's how it's called. But maybe it's Frenchy. I'm not sure. But this is a Target brand. And I got the fragrance mist in Cashmere Vanilla. It's a hair, body, and linen mist. And I just wanted to bring it to you guys. It's nothing spectacular about it. However, it is very reminiscent to me of the good old Bath & Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar. This is what this smells like to me. It smells just like Warm Vanilla Sugar. And if you know, a lot of the Bath & Body Works fragrance mists have changed over the years. They seem diluted to me. They're not as strong as they used to be, but this smells like the OG warm vanilla sugar now this does retail for $14.99 so I would suggest you get it with a coupon whatever the case if you really really love warm vanilla sugar and you want that old feel back I highly recommend this these are the things that I have been absolutely loving head over heels for and the things that I recommend and that are empty so if you guys have any more video recommendations, feel free to leave that down below. If you like this video, feel free to thumbs it up. You guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. If you're a returning viewer and you keep watching my videos, but you haven't hit the subscribe, I don't know what you're doing, but it's fine. I appreciate you nonetheless. Thank you for clicking on my video. I will gladly see you guys in the next one.